somebody. Whoa. Whoa, just opened up a whole can of something. It ain't Chef Boy RD, who you shooting? No, oh, no. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> this show is turning up and I've said it once. Actually, I've said it four times. Uh, this show is doing the video game justice to the fullest, in my opinion. Uh, we're, we're reaching the point where we're sacrificing uh, humanity for bullets. Uh, we're having this bond between Ellie and Joel that's finally growing into something. Last episode, we saw so much vulnerability, excuse me, um, with them just telling jokes back and forth. Uh, the community comedic element with Ellie looking at the the magazine in the back seat straight ripped from the video game but I loved every second of it uh and I, I've already praised it before with uh Bill's story and all these characters we know from the game uh and them staying true to their characters now with this episode here I see no reason why it won't live up to the hype but I think it'll actually surpass the hype, to be honest, just because the I, and I'm going to be honest, I don't remember exactly how this story arc for Henry and Sam uh, played out in the video game. I remember it being extremely sad. I remember how it ends. Um, but as far as it, we us building up to it in the game, it was very short lived. Uh, it I, I, I want to say maybe 30, 30 minutes gameplay. Maybe that's even overselling, underselling it. You guys can remind me in the in the comment section. I know I, was, I said it's my favorite game, but it's been a minute since I played it. Um, and I'm looking forward to it playing out here. Um, now, as far as Henry and the tie in so far, first of all, Kathleen is <laughs> she a damn beast. She about that life. Uh, apparently Ellie about to be about that life too. She got the strap, uh, and she just going to want to destroy everything. At least from the little glimpse we got last episode, she already had a little body with the knife and now she, she just shot somebody that, that body don't go to her. Joe still got that one, but, um, I'm looking forward to how we jump forward. And I, I'm pretty sure the way the end of that episode played out, we're going to have Henry, Sam, Joel, Ellie, and Coates, at least for a little bit, um, banding up against Kathleen. Now, I, I hope it still has that emotional element, and I think it will. Um, but I do think we'll at least get this full episode with Henry and Sam and maybe even into the next one. So we're not going to waste any more time. We're going to get straight into it. episode five. I don't even know the name of this episode, but I'm hyped. Let's do it. It's flashback. There's too many people out for it not to be. I forget what Kathleen... Damn. Sheesh. Um, I forget what Kathleen called them, but I think she said the collaboration or something like that. Jesus, Jesus, <laughs> what is the rating on this episode? Collaborators, yeah. Okay, no, they don't have any. Does Kathleen think he was with the collaborators? Oh my goodness. <laughs> The superhero thing is going to be like a coping mechanism. Um, where did, You guys will have to tell me if you're familiar with this actor, Henry. He looks extremely familiar. So if you know, drop it in the comment section, please. Betraying your neighbors to Fedra? Watching us get thrown in prison? Watching us hang? So that you could get medicine, alcohol, fucking apples? You say it like... Apples ain't a hot commodity. They out here starving. Where is Henry? The fuck did Henry do? You're informers. Inform. Where is Henry? I can only imagine if she's treating them like this and she wants Henry this bad, what the hell is she going to do to him? Or Sam. She better not do nothing to that kid. I swear, I told you everything I know. Of course you have. You're a rat. He's still in the city. She's okay, I want our people going. Yeah, I don't like her character at all, but she's interesting to me. I gotta remember his name. We're really putting him on trial. No, 
we are not really putting them on trial. You're putting them on execution. When you're done, burn the bodies. It's faster. All right, I officially got the feeling that we ain't going to get a fist, a boxing match between Perry and Joel. I feel like they're going to join up at some point. Perry about to have enough of her shit. Oh, no. I got to remember this is a flashback. This must have been when they first found this, this hiding sp space. Oh, tunnels? Tunnels? I'd go to the trouble. You can kill yourself right here. <sighs> 20 cans and six pounds of drugs for the three of us. If we stick to the minimum, I think we can make it 11 days. Well, um, what the hell is the minimum? I'm thinking back to what I ate today. It's at least about five of those cans <laughs> by myself. I wonder, is he able to speak or is he just taught them not to speak so they don't get in trouble? Mm-hmm. Okay, maybe he maybe he is is deaf because seems like he didn't hear what the doctor said. Mm-hmm. Simple things. I'm gonna give a dollar to the first comment that predicts which scene I'm gonna cry on <laughs> in this episode or future ones. They only got one day of food left, right? Based on his prediction. I wonder if that's the only reason why they left before they came up. God damn. He a hell of an artist, but could you be, imagine being up in this little attic with all this, these paint fumes? They hungry and high. <laughs> So he must have given the location. Come on, Sam, you getting paint all on your covers. You got on that yellow hoodie. They missing an the opportunity if you don't do the Arthur fist. Mm -mm. But Joe and Ellie throw off those patterns a little bit, huh? That is a lot of noise. There it is. Fucked up the pattern. Damn. Ooh. Ooh, that looked like I, I don't know if he actually saw him, but. I'm sure we'll find out when it comes present day. Joel! Eyes on me. Shoot, that is a Eyes crazy sight. A great shot, though. You don't have to worry about what to say. We don't want to hurt you. We want to help you. We didn't hurt you. So you don't hurt us. Right? That's right. Yeah. It's a weird fucking tone, man. That's just tone and face. Now, so <laughs> Joel, tell him he's okay. Everything is great. <laughs> okay. Listen. I'm going to trust you. You got no reason to, but hey. Oh, I thought he was about to snatch that gun for sure. But if either of you guys try anything. Yeah? Yeah? I wonder why he made it Sam stand over Joel, though. I'm a collaborator. I don't work with rats. Yeah, you fucking do. Today you do. Because hmm. I live here and you don't. That's how I followed you here. I know the city and that's how I'm going to help you get out. Hmm. Oh, so that's really so what I they're known you. as, rats. I thought she was just saying that about him because he snitched. We killed those men. Now I know where to go. But I don't know how to make it through alive. Not if it's just me and Sam. You seem capable enough. You're armed. You're wrong. You're wrong. I never killed anyone. 
Don't say that out loud. I want you to know the gun I choose the closest I've ever come to being violent. She likes to deal. Mm. I show the way. You clear the way. Good dude, but I don't know if I want you watching my six. <laughs> Travel underground and pop up here. West side north. Residential. There's an embankment on the other side of the houses. Who else Head knows down, about these tunnels? Veteran bridge over the river. He has a burn. You're right. It's a great plan. Why haven't you so used them you already? For? Yeah. You notice anything strange about this city? I mean, other than the strange shit you've already seen? No You're walkers? Infected? Yeah. Oh. Infected. I keep infected. Them walkers. Just not on the surface. Uh, the feds drove them underground 15 years ago and never let them come back. That was the throbbing concrete last episode. Okay, maybe there's one or two, but you handle it. Nah. There's more. The one of those blind ones that sees like a bat? Wait, you ran into a clicker. Two of them. And you're still alive. Hmm. You see? <laughs> they're saying they're going to help us escape. <laughs> Why now? Look at Joel with a little soft spot for kids now. He ain't cargo. <laughs> we need to get out of sight. Uh, I, I, I think it's this way. You think? We just started the plan and you already guessing? <laughs> Shit about to go left. No. No need to look at him like that. He could have just saved your kid's life. He probably will at some point. Or your brother's life. That was a, a school? Or did they turn it into a school after everything fell apart? People went underground after outbreak day. Built settlements. What happened to them? Maybe they didn't follow the rules and they all got infected. Hmm. If we see some little infected children, I'm turning this shit off. <laughs> This is probably the most excitement he's had in a while. Or in ever. I don't know how long he actually is. Eight, eight, I think he said. Yeah. To the edge of the universe. <laughs> back. Endure. And survive. Endure. Survive. I've already learned three words of sign language. <laughs> I'd have it down in a day. Sign language, the language taught by Ellie. Anyway, um, there was one drug that worked, and whoa, big shock. There wasn't much left of it, and it belonged to Fedra. And if I wanted some, it's gonna take something big. So I gave him something big. That one green man. Hmm. The leader of the resistance movement in Kansas City. Is that what made him a Kathleen's collaborator? Brother. Kathleen's brother. We waited long enough. The dialogue, HBO shows are always great for this, but the dialogue in the show has been really good so far. Really enjoyed that scene too. Nothing mind blowing, but just good conversation. He said in his long as we were together. No perfect box. We would be safe. No, but you're not all hell broke loose. Codependency, but I get it. Your brother was a great man. We all loved him. But he didn't change anything. You did. No, don't gas her up. You're we're with you. Just as crazy as she is. I don't know if he's crazy or if he's just scared. Or just truly believes in what she's promoting. Good. But that was definitely her scene to, like, humanize her. Well, I don't think there's such thing with her. Is she a wow. No. No one is here. Yeah. No one's gonna be here because... Shut up. My plan worked. So much goddamn talking. <laughs> I'm just saying. I delivered. They're about to lose their shit when well, they see these walk or these infected. So we we gotta stop calling them walkers. This is how it goes. He's like, no, that way, never, ever, ever happening. And then I'm like, I'm gonna ask you a million more times. <laughs> and he's like, Whoa! Sheesh. Whoa! Whoa! 
fucking gunshots in this show. They time them well. Oh, this is the house that I fucking hated from the video game because I died like a hundred fucking times. I don't remember. Was it with Henry and Sam? Come on, Joel. You can take better cover than that. Ellie, you can fire back. At least one. Jeez. Yeah, in the video game, it was daytime, and I don't think Sam and Henry were with them. Is that Kathleen? Took you long enough, god damn. Oh my goodness. No, oh, of course it jams. That's awesome to see this big ass plow truck. It reminds me of Twisted Metal, but it, it's bad for them. It's bad. Nice, nice. Yes, sir. I told y'all, y'all know who you're fucking with. I like how they got the Power Ranger Turbo Jeeps. <laughs> Ellie, stop fucking falling, please. <laughs> Wait a hell, where's, where's Sam? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. That's a great shot. You see everything. You see Joel. You see them walking up. You see them behind the car. Dead end, Henry. Oh, do they not know they're? You wanna step on out? Save us some time. They know he's yeah. No. no? I'll come out. Oh fuck you, Henry. Just let the kids go. No. Sorry. The girl is with the man who killed Brian and Sam. Headshot her. I think you he's don't alive. But... but I do. I know why you did what you did. But did you ever stop to think that maybe he was supposed to die? He's just a fucking kid. Well, kids die, Henry. They so die do adults, bitch. All the time. When you take him and run, yes, do it. It's no hand holding. Y'all need to be pumping them arms. Just run. It ends the way it ends. Somebody. Whoa. Whoa. Just opened up a whole can of something. You ain't Chef Boy RD. Who you shooting? No. 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 Ben, they're moving fucking fast. <laughs> oh my. Look how many of them there are. I know, I know I was saying I died a bunch of times in this in this part of the game, but I don't remember it being this many. Good shot. No, 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 no. Yep. Lead the way, Joel. So fucking smart. She, I, I know it sucks that she just left them behind, but she's, she's got to save herself first. Damn, damn. <laughs> this is, this is a good choreographed scene. Don't shoot out a window. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> It looks really good. I want no parts of it, but it, he looks awesome. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Please tell me that's the big show in uh, in makeup. <laughs> Run. Run cover. Did you Don't see that back. fucking choke slam or cane? Maybe I don't know. 
Why didn't you close the door? Is that a little kid? Is that a little kid? It, it, she's got like the pajamas on. Look at. Is. Oh my goodness. Is this a child actor flipping over seats right now? <laughs> oh, she's got her knife out. Did she drop her gun? What was that? Was that on purpose or was somebody just trying to get the fuck away? Nice. Neck ain't gonna work, Ellie. Neck ain't gonna work. Nice. Stop. How did this bitch get away? <laughs> Excuse my French. Yep. 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 Yay for child actor. God damn. Yep. Deuces. 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 First encounter, she got wrecked. I like it. I like it. Don't waste no time with the bullshit. Get him up and out of here. I like it. Good job, HBO. I thought that might be a villain. Again, I didn't mind her, but I thought that might be a villain that just continued throughout the course of the show. I like that no one's safe. Well done. <laughs> a little look, he got a little sass to him. <laughs> Scorpions. <laughs> that is kind of crazy. Oh, they're just able to joke after going like I'm a viewer. Of course, it's not gonna affect me, but I'm actually going through it. Just to move past it. He don't look that scared either for his first time interacting with them. Don't say yes. Tough fucking kid. Didn't even limp. And the blood is medicine. She wasn't supposed to tell anybody, but what is she about to do? Mm. Uh, I like that, that way. <laughs> so innocent, but she's like, just trying to help, but <clears throat> definitely not sterile. <laughs> Expect him to make okay. the decision that fast. He's about to make another. What, what, what did I do? It's not anything. Which west? Let's go. Definitely a turning point for her. Her trying to become a savage. Very good episode. 
like I said, I imagined it would be a good, a great episode, but I'm going to watch the credits and I'll be right back for the post episode discussion. What a great episode. Thank you for sticking around. If you have, um, like I thought from the beginning, phenomenal episode as we've gotten throughout the series thus far. Um, I actually went ahead and watched the post credit scene because I wanted to see if uh, one of these wrestlers, like these humongous wrestlers, the show or big show, uh, Kane was playing that bloater. And actually got some other things I was interested about, like Sam. Um, I didn't get the actor's name, but he's actually deaf in real life. And he, I, I thought he did a phenomenal job in the show. I hope to see him in more things. I, I, I know his roles can be kind of limited uh, with that disability, but um, I thought he did a great job. Uh, I think his name is L- Lamar, Larry, or whoever played Henry. Um, he did a great job. Joel, uh he did a great job as usual. Ellie did a great job. Um, and I really like, like coming into this episode, I knew it was going to be focused or centered around, uh, Henry and Sam. But at the same time, there was so many other characters, um, who at the time I didn't know were gonna not be around for a long time. So I, I knew that there was a lot of other development that needed to happen, regardless whether this was a one-off for Henry and Sam or if they were going to stick around for a couple episodes. And I thought they did a great job of balancing the two um, because we got a lot of Kathleen. We got some development, whether you agree with her or don't. um, That's the psychology of uh, a villain. If you want to call her a villain, I don't even know what you anti-villain, whatever you want to call her. Some of you may side with her, some of you may not. Um, But I think most people in the situation of a Henry, uh, would do the same thing and in the situation of a Kathleen might do the same thing maybe not to the same extreme but maybe still have the same ideals so uh, I thought they did a good job of portraying it and I thought the the wording that they used throughout this episode was really good too like uh, Kathleen in her little speech um, used the the word fate which is such a a pivotal word in this episode but I think just adds a lot to the episode because of how they got to this point with Henry uh, doing what he did to save, obviously, for the med- medicine and turning in her brother to get that medicine uh, in in that moment, keeping him alive and then fate being thrown in there and him ending up being bit, um, whether you believe in that or not. But I thought that was a powerful message that the directors uh, threw into the show, and I thought they did a great job with this. Um, but I'm going to cycle through this timeline. Real quick, just to uh, not forget anything, uh, I'm going to make it quick, but I, I do want to go every, over everything. Um, I thought the the episode started off great. I, I really enjoyed how they started off uh, with Henry and Sam. Um, and I bounced around a little bit. Let me uh, retract a little bit. Uh, I, I like that even though this was a focus on Henry and Sam because they weren't going to be around a long time. I thought it was great that they did not make the whole episode about him and still or them and gave other characters time to shine. Um, Like we still got even though because Joel and Ellie and Henry and Sam are so similar. They're like the same people um, in a pair um, just on opposite ends or different perspectives. Um, I thought they did a good job of bringing them together. Uh, and making them click quickly on screen. Um, obviously, it's scripted, so it's it's it can be a little bit easier. But for it to be believable when you're watching on screen, uh, that could be a lot harder task to accomplish. And I thought they did a good job with that. Um, of course, I already have a connection to these characters through the video game. And speaking of the video game changes, um, I enjoyed in this episode too. I didn't have problems with any of them. Uh, like I said, they've they've made several changes, but for the better of the show, in my opinion. Um, like, and you guys can correct me if I'm wrong because I I really can't remember on some, but they feel like changes. Like uh, the scene, uh, the house scene with the sniper uh, that was kind of setting them up. The older gentleman. Um, that was in in this episode. It was at night. I'm pretty sure it was that day in the video game. Uh, just added a little levity to the situation um, while watching it play out. Um, the the bloat, the infected, I don't know that there was that many. 
Um, maybe there was, and I'm just forgetting because I know it was a hard level and I died several times in that level. Uh, that's one of those uh, <laughs> levels of a video game that literally pissed me off. Like, if I if I could choose that or play choose to play that on hardened difficulty and the final boss battle in Game of Thrones or uh, God of War on the hardest difficulty, I'm picking God of War. That le that level pissed me off to the endless degree. I don't know how many times I rage quit. I think I've never broken a controller in my life before this game, and I'm pretty sure that was the level I did it on. Uh, but no, more walkers are infected. I think. Um, and then with Sam, I'm pretty sure in the the video game he was not deaf. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure. Um, so if if that was a change as well. Uh, I, I appreciated that, and I thought it was a good change. Obviously, it works well because the, the actor killed it, um, but just for the story itself, making him more dependent, which is what they said um, in the post credit scene, um, I think that did exactly what they intended it to do. So uh, kudos on them for that. The, the scene was extremely well done uh with all the walkers. Um, this I don't think I've given much because we haven't seen many uh, infected in this series thus far. It's been a lot of human characters, a lot of dialogue um, up to this point. I think that's about to change, but um, f I think since episode one, it's been since we really saw walk uh, infected like that, and the CGI on them looks good. I and I think a lot of it is just makeup. I don't know how much of it is CGI, actually, uh, but regardless, in action, on screen, it looks phenomenal. Um, so I really appreciated that. Let me go back to this episode cause it skipped to the, the next one, but, um, yes, bouncing back the way they started the, off this episode was phenomenal with the flashback. It took me a second to register, but, um, it was well done. Uh, I liked the little scene with Kathleen, even in the jail cell with the, the, um, co uh, collaborators. I'm pretty sure that's what they were called, but, uh, they gained the name of rats for snitching i don't know if that's a direct correlation to henry uh because he was uh the one she was mainly focused on and he in her eyes was a rat for turning in her brother so the rest of the collaborate collaborators just took on that name um i i appreciated that scene a little bit more going into this episode and then to see how they got along um or survived on their own uh, with the help of the the older guy that she shot in last episode, I'm pretty sure that was Edel, Edelstein, um, the one they were talking about previously. Uh, I have to go back and refresh myself, but uh, nonetheless, as a flashback scene, it was effective, and I thought they did a great job with that. It was good to get a little bit of that uh, before getting to present day. So, again, I, me as a someone who's played the game, even though it's been a while, uh, a lot of this serves as a reminder and they're doing a good job reminding me of that. And especially for new viewers, you guys will have to let me know uh, how you feel about it. But I think they're doing a great job of keying you in on things um, to gain that same emotional value that we uh, have after playing the game. So, um yeah, I can't speak to that, but I'm curious to to know how people new to the show are feeling about that. Um, Henry, I, I keep I keep trying to place his face. I want to say, uh, what was the? I, I want to say he's from. I don't want to look it up. Uh, I'll wait to see if any of you guys answer. But I want to say he's from like the new edition biopic. He was uh, one of the main characters in that younger version i can't remember but i think that's him um and i've seen him in a couple things so if this is him as well um another notch on the belt because he did a great job um and marrying the 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 plot lines uh from the flashback everything stemmed from the flashback but uh it did really play a pivotal role because you had them going this direction you had joel and ellie interrupting their direction with when they they came into the city crashed into the building um that kind of changed their trajectory and you could also throw that into the whole discussion of whether it was fate um or whatnot and you could throw it into the discussion of whether or not that was kathleen's fate um 
being eaten alive by this little baby and <laughs> I, I said the the infected were phenomenal. They looked great, um, and I'm, I I want to go ahead and say there is some CGI, but there's a lot of practical effects too. But whoever I want to know who the child actor is for that little one that crawled into the van after Ellie, like doing the backflip and crawling over the seat. The movements were just on point. Um, so I'd like to see. I don't know if there's any out there, but I'd like to see more behind the scenes um, on all of that. Uh, so yeah, this, I, I don't, I can't remember if I cried during the video game. I might have because it caught me off guard. Um, it didn't get me here, but it, it it definitely carried emotional value and I thought it was well done. Um, I'm looking forward to after, after a lot of these reactions, I'll go and watch other reactions to, uh, to see how they felt about it too. But I'm looking forward to seeing those between the people who have played the game like me and people who haven't. Um, and then skipping forward. Sorry, I'm trying to make sure I don't skip anything. Um, a lot, of, a lot of this was just relationship driven. Uh, and there we go. And yeah, it it just it's extremely helpful in scenarios like this when you are doing a flashback to to a point of crossroads. Um, it can be hit or miss, but. Leading up all the way to the point, I thought all of it was necessary uh, to connect us to the characters within the, the scheme of this episode um, and leading all the way up to the point we left off at the end of last episode. So I thought they did a great job of doing that without feeling like, oh, why are they really showing all this? We already know where this is going to lead. I enjoyed every scene that came before that point. So they did a good job. Um, but yeah, as far as everything else phenomenal episode as i expected i can't wait to i don't know what we're gonna get into next episode what characters we're gonna be introduced to uh i don't if it's just gonna be infected um as the main antagonist now i can't even remember obviously you have the the firefly still um i can't remember a leader um and i know they break into the hospital but that's like at the end of the game so there's still a lot of emotional death to come there's still a lot of character development to come and there's still a whole bunch of development between Joel and Ellie and their their closeness like we're i, I said we're reaching a point a certain level um to match up with the game that we all love um but this is like the the breaking point or the the tipping point for Joel where I think they're officially fully connected, if you want to say that. Um, and he's in full go mode in terms of protecting her more than just cargo. Also, as like his newfound love or his 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 daughter, so to speak, um, after seeing the way that Sam and Henry both went out. So I'm looking forward to how that continues. Um, not only as uh, from the the actors like Pedro and um and Ellie uh, Bella Ramsey um because I've been looking forward to their performance in every episode so uh that's not going to change for this next one but that's enough of me rambling on I enjoyed this episode heavily I'd have to give it I'd, I'd give it a 10 I don't think I could give it give it any lower because I I enjoyed this one all the way through I don't even think I've been ranking these previous episodes but uh i'll have to go back and see the last episode last episode probably a nine episode three was a 10 episode one was a 10 i can't remember episode two i'll have to go back and watch it but yeah that's the end of this one i hope you guys enjoyed if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe i'm going to be back with episode six shortly so i appreciate you guys uh make sure you comment down below let me know what you thought of this episode and the performances from all the actors. And if you know them from other things, I should check out just on my own time. So, uh, like I said, I appreciate you guys and I'll catch you in the next one. Deuces. Stay chill.